Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Oriental Mark Bolo. This is Pedro. So today, let's talk about Chinese infrastructure construction. Why is China known as the master of infrastructure construction? When I first came to Germany, a German guy who is around 50 years old uh, confidently told me all trends in China only go in one direction and move very slowly. He seemed to know more about my homeland than I did. I was very shocked by this and I was even speechless. I just smiled. I couldn't believe that his inspiration of China was still stuck in the 40 years or 50 years ago. Uh, during my three years of living in Germany, I've also encountered uh, some people still with cliché and stereotype against China. So today, I want to show you the infrastructure construction in China nowadays. Uh, I hope after seeing all of this, you will have a brand new understanding of China. The first one, the Three Gorges Dam. The Three Gorges Dam is one of the world's largest hydroelectric power stations. Its dam is 2,335 meters long, and its annually power generation capacity is about 100 billion kilowatt hour. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is the world's largest uh, sea crossing bridge. It has 55 kilometers long and has a design life of 120 years. The Chinese fast 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope is the world's most sensitive radio telescope. Its diameter is 500 meters. And the Beipanjiang Bridge, also known as the Dude Bridge, is the world's highest bridge. Its heat is 269 meters. It is extremely high. And the Beijing Daxing International Airport has the world's largest monomer airport terminal building and is also the airport terminal with highest construction difficulty in the world. Look at these photos. It is so beautiful. And China's high-speed railway has the world's longest mile age and it is multiple directions, okay? And the average speed of China's high-speed trains is 230 kilometers plus minutes per hour and the maximum speed can approach 350 kilometers per hour. And the Qinghai Tibet Railway is the world's highest and longest plateau railway. It crosses more than 550 kilometers of permafrost sections with an average altitude of more than 4,500 meters on the entire road. And this is just the tip of the iceberg for infrastructure development over the past 40 years in China. I hope this short video can give you a new understanding of China's appearance a new China, a modern China, a China in 21th century. And of course, if you have the opportunity, you can also visit China to observe these things by yourself. I'm looking forward to meet you in China. And thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like it, definitely leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.